Yo yo guys, hello and welcome to part 2 of my F1 2022 career mode here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix Now if you haven't checked out the last episode, we were in Bahrain for the first race um, Didn't go away unfortunately But yeah, we got some points on the board for RJB Racing But yeah, um, just a quick heads up for you guys if I did an intro introduction last video but my name is Rory I am a kart racer from the UK and I'm doing more sim racing this year I thought I'd do an F1 career mode so yeah hope you guys enjoy it but yeah moving on to qualifying then very quickly and yeah I was going into this week and I was confident that we could get a good result here I'm normally quite fast around Saudi Arabia Bahrain isn't really a track I was good at yeah, coming up the last corner, we make a big mistake there, go really wide, nearly into the wall. And now on our first time lap of Q of qualifying. Coming down the back straight, into turn one, breaking just for the 50 meter board, and we cut the whole of turn one, and I was really surprised that was not a validation there. I was very, very close to it. Into here, we missed the corner again, so this has not been a great lap for our qualifying. Come through this corner, we take these S's pretty well using all the track. And up ahead, I think we've got the Tifi. Thank God he doesn't hold us up as flying to this corner. It's banked left hander. The 37 wasn't a great first sector. We're just looking to get this slap on the board, really, as into here. Make a big mistake, we hit the wall again. Go wide. This has not been a great lap. With DRS coming up right now, we activate DRS and hope we need to look to find some time in the part, final sector here. 1017, not great, and we miss the corner again and we go off. So this has not been a good lap. We need to find time elsewhere if we want to be higher up the grid. Now coming into the last corner, breaking super late, taking a wide entry. Getting on the power nice and early, we did a good final corner. And where's this going to put us? Coming up to the line, this will put us in P6. So just just ahead of our teammate. I think he must have got held up because I know he's faster than that. I'm going for a second time run. We put, we find one and a half tenths through the first corner. We lose a bit on the exit. And through here, even more time we find we find another half attempt. And we take this much better than the first lap, using all the track. But actually, that exit we didn't get a great exit, so we lose a bit of time. But we're three temps up on Norris, so hopefully we get this lap in, and we'll have a we'll have a better lap in, a better banker before the last lap. As, as we're slapping, there's 28.5, and that's going to be very hard to beat. And we hit the wall even, so and we lose the back end. Not been great. We lose back end again. Big slide, and now we're mar only marginally up. So this has not been a great run. Can we improve through here? And we do get that corner better. Game nearly two temps even. So showing how bad it wasn't our first lap. And coming to the final corner here, we're losing a bit actually. I think we're running out of fuel slightly. I didn't fuel for two laps, but I thought I'd do a second lap, and we get a good exit out of here, even better than the first run, and we're two and a half temps up, so lose a bit coming up to the line, but this will put us in P6, so I thought that was a good time, a good lap, as we head back to the pit lane, and have a look at the session info, and we're P7, not a bad banker, but definitely could have been better. As you can see there, the delta of the new tyres is 7 tenths of a second, so we can find that much time. We'll definitely be out there in qualifying, and as you can see our teammate in P12. Not a great run for him, he must have got held up, because based on his pace in Bahrain, he should not be P12. But, yeah. I think, skipping on now, and we look to head to track in just a second. Putting the fuel load down. And yeah, moving on to our final run of qualifying them. Only short qualifying here, just to get qualifying done fast, faster to be honest. And, and we've, got, we've got a good gap. 
and coming into this last corner we take a better entry than last time although we hit the wall again so really not putting ourselves putting ourselves in a great position for this lap but coming into turn one here we're breaking just for, just for the 50 meter board and coming out of here we gain half attempt so decent exit using all the exit out of here and we gain three tenths so at this point this has been a really good lap mounting the curb we take a really good line for here and we're four tenths up so can we even go for pole potentially that's coming out of the first sector and we are purple four tenths faster than the third coming out of the exit is banked to left hand and we gain another tenth so at this point this lap has been very very good this could even put us on pole using all the track on the exit, nearly grazing the wall and we are 6 tenths up this has been a really really good lap here and we need this, we need a good qualifying after Bahrain and it just didn't go away with a P9 finish coming into here, oh we slightly go off and I don't know how that was an invalidation getting very very lucky but we're gaining more and more time nearly 8 tenths up now as we head into the final corner all we need here is a good exit and we could even be on for a pole as we go a bit narrow, it hasn't been a good. It wasn't a great exit, and we lose a tenth. Coming up to the line now, where is this going to put us? P4, so not bad quality. Really happy that that, that lap at the end. I think we pretty much maximised it. Maybe a few corners, like the exit of the final corner, coming onto the lap and then finishing the lap. I think that could have been a bit better but as you can see Carlos Sainz is in pole and our teammate is only P12 so not good at all for him but yeah really happy with that lap I think pole would have been a stretch the car isn't quite the fastest but I thought I did a really good lap um, the AI aren't normally as strong at Jeddah so to be honest as much as P4 is good maybe the AI was a touch low but our teammate definitely can go faster than P13 so I think part of it is in short quality, people tend to get held up quite a lot as our claim goes up to level 2. But yeah, good quality for us and we need this after Bahrain if we want any chance to come back in the championship. As now we head back to... As we head back to um, the base these loading screws are really really long in this game for some reason it's very annoying I think it makes it worse for PS4 but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying this content it's something new for you and even if you just like this content in this video I'd be really happy as we are checking the as we put the AI up to 102 for the race because I felt 100 was a bit low and in the race the AI tend to be a bit slower so make it a bit more of a challenge in the race, but I think it'll make it more interesting. As you can see the comments from our engineer here. And um, yeah, we go to the race. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this content. Apologies if it isn't perfect quality. I am recording off PS4 and yeah, I'm not experienced with this, but I just thought I'd bring you this career mode. And yeah, I've got other, other content I'm planning to bring to the channel from different games. So I'm... Um, even the karting on board even and different games such as GT7 so I can't wait to bring you that but yeah moving into the race now and Before we begin, let's look at the starting grid now do, the does anyone have any penalties the front row don't Sainz starts on pole with Verstappen second Considering the rest of the grid, we have moving on to the second Perez. row of the grid it is Perez and Russia. ourselves George Russell. Then Russell Leclerc and I think our teammate P has been P12. Okay, so, moving on to the start of the race now, it's looking like it'll be a one stop around here. The tyre row isn't too bad. As Science, interestingly, is on the soft, so I feel like he'll be going for a two stop there. Very interesting. Another top ten finish. How, about, how about us? What do we do? And I was thinking about doing a two stop to be fair, but looking at the delta it wouldn't have been worth it as so we've got a good setup for this race and yeah we will go on on mediums to start of this race formation up now need to make sure we get tyres up to temperature 
Round here is quite difficult to overtake and the start is quite tre treacherous here, so we need to make sure our tyres are up to temperature. Yeah, hopefully we can, we'll see how the pace is today. Um, we miss our grid spot, really, really annoying that, but moving on to five red lights here for the Jeddah Grand Prix. Lights out and away we go and I don't get a great launch and I and we're already down to P6 as we come into turn one. Side by side of Alonso. As we're on the outside for turn two, we get a decent exit. We need to keep ahead of Alonso here. We're much faster than the Alpine as we're swerving to try and get any temperature on the tyres. As we look to try and maybe go around the outside of Leclerc, but not quite. As we gain an through here and can we go down the, down the inside? No, we can't. That was too ambitious from us trying. And we compromise our exit a bit. And the AI is so fast on the straight. And Alonso has a look at us down into this corner. We just about hold him off. And the clerk here gets an awful exit. Big snap of O's there. As we look to go round the outside. And we pin it round the outside off the circuit. And what a move. And we needed to make that really. Leclerc is a big threat in the championship, championship leader at the moment. So if we can take any points of him now while the car is slower before we develop it, it needs to be now really. Coming out the exit here, if we don't get a great exit, and he's all over us now, and um, we've nearly lost the ERS to Russell even. So we have to. I'm using all my ERS to try and pull away from him. Break into the into his final corner and we take a better line, a much better line than we did in qualifying. So learning from our mistakes there. And the Kurt now is three temps behind. And I, I believe we've got lower wings in the AI, so it helps on the straight. And coming into turn one, we've gained on Russell a lot actually, gained about four temps on him. So our car being really strong in the straight line, this is really helping us out. I think we have some engine upgrades on for this race, so. Yeah, really helps us, really is helping us out in this race as, yeah, we're catching Russell here. Can we even look to pass the Mercedes, which is about on par with us. And they need a big result here after Bahrain, to be honest. After both cars, I think, had issues. I mean, neither car scored, actually, in Bahrain for them. So, the Mercedes, they need a big race, but... Coming into, I believe, turn seven or seven, I want to say, and we get a big snap of homes there. But we still get a decent exit, and we u we're using ERS here, and I, we want to try and get past Russell if we can to leapfrog onto the Staffen and Perros. As looking at the mini map, Science is pulling away by a lot, but he's on the soft, so I believe we'll have to give her a two stop, so it'll be interesting to see where he'll play out on this race. As, are we going to go for the move on Russell? We're not. We're going to sit behind and wait for the RS if there is any. Using our using our ERS now, and um, we nearly match chances of us up here. We've got really good pace, and we look to go past Russell. We break late round the outside of turn one, and we make a really good move on Russell, and that was crucial. Skipping on to lap six now, and we have caught Verstappen and Perez. So. Really good stuff there. How we look to get past both of them. We get a good, good run out of turn one, but that Red Bull is so fast through this, this section here. It's not a lot we can do. But what's happened is struggling with oversteer, and I think their tyres are worse than ours. As we've dropped Russell completely, we don't get a great run through these next few corners, but. We can look to get past these two, maybe we can go after science, but at this stage we're in a really good place to even get a win in this race, which considering how Bahrain went, I'd be ecstatic with a win, but we'll have to see. As right on the gearbox from Stappen now, we get a good run through there. Don't get a great exit, but Stappen is dropping back a bit from Perez, so I think the Red Bulls are struggling at the moment, especially with Stappen as we get a good run, oh we go very very wide out of here getting DRS though and that has really helped us out as can we have a look at the Sappen potentially on the back straight here breaking lane to the final corner 
and he gets another snap over there. Can we have a potentially have a look here? Using DRS, ERS. As we're gaining, 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 gaining. Gaining down the inside of us up and we go. Um, what a move, honestly. I don't really want, want to make that move, but I feel like we have to for, if we want to win, win this race. As moving on, on to the end of lap eight now, and the Stappen is coming back at us. And at this point now, we have to get pa pa get past Perez if we want to win this race because the Stappen is on the back of us, and he will make a move at any moment he can. As Sainz has come in, and we DRS DRS use our ERS and DRS on Perez, and we go round the outside, making a very similar move to the one we did on the Stappen actually, except. At, at the same corner and now both rebels are fighting and I now I have to get the gap now I have to pull away and we just we've got out of DRS range already so I know I have to get out of DRS if I want to win this race because those, those rebels are faster than us but we're just getting quite lucky and skipping on to lap 10 now and the staff has got past us and my thought process here was use the DRS use the DRS from him Hopefully, try and get away past and get away from Perez. As we have a look at him, it's up in the fence, and we go for it because we see Russell gaining on us, and we know we have to make this move. And we get a great exit out of there, Mustafa for an awful exit, and coming out of turn four, we have a massive gap now, over a second gap, and I know now. If I, can, if I can extend this gap for the pit stops, we've got a real good chance of winning this race, which would be great. And it says on our MSD that the pit window is lap 11, so we need to we need, we need to make this a good in lap if we can. And Russell was quite up to Perez, and he's right on the back of him. And we make another mistake out of that corner and we hit the wall even. So, this has not been a great in lap, but we have gapped this up in a bit and that can be crucial in the pit stop phase. Because Rebel, we know they're very good at on pit stops and our team aren't the best. They're pretty fast, but not great compared to Rebel. And Verstappen, he's right in the back of us now, he's got a great exit. Can he look to get past us? And he's locked in, and I think. He knows that there's no point fighting us. And we get a hit and what's happened hits us actually. As we lose the rear end on the exit and we elect to pit here. He knew we had to the cover of what's happened. It's coming into the pit lane, breaking just on time for the pit limiter. And yeah, we need a good pit stop here to come out ahead of us up and we need to charge his turning right. Charging it to perfection and what is the pit stop time going to be? 2.3, very solid stop. And we come out ahead of the Saturn. And we need this to be a good out of lap here. If we, want to, if we want to maintain the gap to Perez, because on this game, cold tyres are a big thing, and you need a lot of time in the first few corners on the, and on the out lap. We're coming on to the end of lap 12 here and it's been a decent hour lap but the Stappen's kit with us and will he go for it here and he will and there is no point fighting this. Stappen will be probably faster than us but if we can keep with him and save our ERS we can maybe look to slingshot past him and create a bit of a gap. As Sainz now has an 8 second gap and we need to watch this because Sainz can be a threat at the end of the race and he picks again. That Ferrari is very very fast as we saw on the team in Bahrain. As we use our ERS and I make the move on Stappen here and I knew I had to make this move because Perez was coming. And we stop it on the exit and we get a good exit out of the final corner and we use the ERS and I knew if I use the battery now and they start fighting, we might have the pace now to put away as we do a PB, despite being on the hard tyres. As both Ribbles now are fighting, Coming up on the exit of this corner, we have pulled a seven tenth gap for the Stappen. So at this stage, we have to, if we want to win this race, we have to pull away because we, want, we need to get out of the RS if we want to win this race. Because around here, around Jeddah, it's very very difficult to pull away. 
especially when you're not that much faster than the car ahead. And skipping on to lap 19, we've done we've done exactly that, and we've got a 1.6 second gap here. So at this stage, we're looking very comfortable to take this win. And despite even increasing AI to 102, we are just rapid and kind of really good setup around here. I've been trying some stuff, and yeah, it's really paid off. All we have to do now is just maintain this gap, and we will win. Which would be great for our championship. We need a good result around. We need, we need a good result here, as we've been saying, to come back in the championship. We're getting a bit, bit getting a, a little bit of a slide out of there. Skipping on to the last lap now, and we have got a massive four-second gap here. But coming on the, off the exit of turn one here, are we going to be okay? And no, we're not. We're going to lose the rear end and hit the barrier. And at this point, we could lose it all here. We've got big damage to the left-hand side of the front wing as we are losing time hand over fist to the slapper and this race seemingly looking like an easy one has turned into turned into potentially potentially us losing this race as coming out the exit here are we okay no we hit the barrier and we get even more damage and at this point we might even lose this race and that would be gutting as that is gaining gaining on us and through here we, we just have no speed we have to, gonna have to go so slowly and we've run out of ERS now trying to push too hard to get faster slap and we we might even lose it here as this happened is along the side us he's pulling he's got past us but what, we, what are we gonna do we're, we're gonna go down the inside of him making contact here and we knew we have we know we have to make win this race if we want anything and that wasn't a great move it was a bit rash but we know we have to make this move and coming out along across the line here and we have won at, at Jeddah what performance from us and oh, yeah I was really happy at the time before recording this because yeah I worked really hard on, on the setup to try and get it right and after Bahrain especially this has been real redemption for us so what a brilliant race from us and we got our first win as a team and our only our second race as the third best car as our car sits behind the first place banner and well, war race. Got a nice suit from, we've got the Landon Norris suit Welcome I think, looking very nice. We might change drivers. it though because it would be nice to get a cool custom suit but we'll have to see. But yeah, what a race there honestly, very very tough, so let's the had to be very consistent stands. throughout and we weren't the fastest I would say, I think. Let's focus Science on is probably quicker than the Ferraris and that, move, and that maintains us in third in the championship very comfortably and we moved to third in the drivers and the driver championship Red Bull have gained a lot on Ferrari and both Ferraris not having a great race and the clerk I forgot to comment on earlier he actually retired during this race the championship leader so this is this was a big result for us and this puts us right in the fight as we gain, gain a lot of acclaim and yeah our teammate came P5 I think so a good recovery from him a bit of a shame about the qualifying from him but I think he definitely had the pace he just had a bad qualifying and it's hard to come through especially if you're on if you're an AI because there's a lot of battling around here and it's difficult to get away once you get past someone um, with the DRS but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that race as we head back to the team headquarters and yeah really 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 happy with that really intense race it's really difficult around Jello with so many corners probably harder than Bahrain but yeah our car just really suited the track and we were really really quick so a great result as we head back to the team base and we now have over 10 million in cash so that could be really good for us to potentially invest um, into growing our facilities. Yeah, what a brilliant race there and that has put us back in the championship hunt, which after Bahrain, like I've said, it was looking like a long way away, just not having the pace at all. But this has really shown that we can fight at the front, we can fight for wins, podiums. And yet, yeah, as you can see, further than the drivers and further than the constructors. and. We sit 
in a good place potentially to look for getting both championships here if we can make this car faster. Yeah, Ferrari not having a good day, like I said earlier. Science getting fifth, They're only getting fifth after starting on pole. And the Clerk DNFing, so this was a big race for both Red Bull and also us. So you're looking at our stats now. 27 points and one, one win, one podium, only in our second race. So if we can keep, keep this up, we can maybe go for the championship in our first season. Which is it's ultimately ultimately the goal as a front runner, but it'd be really good if we could do it. As looking looking at the R and D tree now, going into the R and D section, and we need we need to put some upgrades on this car to make it even quicker. And we only have a thousand points, so I believe we spent some after practice to put some on, to put some upgrades on for Australia and can we put on any chassis um, facility upgrades and I feel like we're going to save because we only have 10 million so we need to save a bit but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this race I thought it was a really good race from us and yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you could like or and even subscribe that would really help me out and yeah see you in australia in a week's time